um, young lady by the name of Veronique. You might recognise her, she's a very extremely famous model. Um, and uh, I'd just like to pass it over to Veronique, who will be saying a few words. Hello everyone. Um, you know, I was a little bit of su surprise when Kim Lehman asked me to open his art show. I don't really have much of a connection to art, attending the occasional exhibition opening, maybe. But as Kim reminded me, I am quite famous, and it is always good if you can have a famous person open your art exhibition. So I said yes, I'd do it, and here I am. But I did say to him I wanted to talk a little bit about how I felt and about how the art and a bit about that. So I'd like to do a proper opening talk. A short one, you'll be happy to hear. So I've spent quite a bit of time here at Pamina before you all arrived, looking around. And the first thing that I thought that the art around us was slightly strange, really. Um, you know, I'm a, a work of art, it seems. My boyfriend says that about me sometimes, but I don't think he quite means it in the same way. Anyway, to the art, there are large, some large photographs around, which look all right to me, quite normal from a distance. But they are not of things you would normally see, maybe. There is one photograph of a running man, all blurry. He is, in fact, part of a work of art by a famous artist in England. Kim has taken a photo of someone else's unusual artwork and then called it, this photo, his art. And then why would you take the photos of the people in art galleries and not the art? There are a whole series of those. Maybe the people are more interesting than the art. I don't think so, though. That's not the whole reason. I think there is something about the manufactured art experience going on in these photos. Like, people just walk around the galleries and take a photo or two, and leave without even thinking about the whole thing very much. As well, I think that Kim is also asking us to think about what the art actually can be, apart from nice things on the walls. It can be photos of people standing in art galleries, getting their photos taken. It can be of all sorts of things. Like those chairs over there, they were only sketches of two people, one called Benjamin and one called Elspeth. If they were really drawn with a pencil or something, there would be a few lines here and there, some of shading and stuff. But they're not drawn. They are real chairs and a few random belongings. Is that a bad thing? No, I don't think so. I think Kim wants us to be inside an art show where everything is not quite normal, where things are slightly wrong. You and I, and my friends over there, are inside Kim's art exhibition world, where things are not what we were expecting when we first walked in. This lectern here is actually not real. It's made of cardboard. Am I a real person? Well, I certainly am a real person, but perhaps not to you. For me then, Kim Lehman's art show, Speak to Us, is really about being in a place where we all have to think a bit about the art that is around us and will speak to us if we think about it. Anyway, I've been a little bit more philosophical than I normally would be happy about, at least without drinking considerably a more sparkling wine. So, without further ado, as I seem to say, I take great pleasure in declaring this art exhibition open.